Minnesota, the Golden Gophers. P.J. Fleck doing his thing. Uh, FBI ranking here, 49. They expect him to go 6-6. Six and six. They went 3-4 and four in a shortened COVID season last year. Went 11-2 and two the year before that. And, of course, after 2019, they lose Kurt Soraka, uh, who goes over to Penn State and then loses his job. And they've kind of got things rolling now. Uh, it, a little bit of a rebuilding year, which for a team that doesn't just have immense talent across the board, you're going to have those drop-off years after you have a big year. This that's is just a the school way that's not used to losing big NFL guys, and they, they lost they one lost of the best receivers in the draft uh, uh, this year. That's a big deal for an offense that that guy was a huge portion of it. Yes, Rashad is this, Bateman. Is this one of those things where they have been able to replace him with another guy like him in that offense? Or is this hoping that we can continue the offensive ways, but maybe in a different route, not having such a dynamic playmaker on the roster? They do have a dynamic playmaker, but it's the running back. Yeah, well, I know that. I'm talking so, about from the passing game. Yeah, from the passing game. it stretches game. the defense, which opens the run game. Yes, if, that, if Bateman's not there. Uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, all five offensive linemen return this year. That's a big that's, deal. That's huge. Um, that's big. That includes 2020 opt-out Daniel Faalele. I believe I said that right. Nice if I didn't, yeah, you guys can correct it, of course, in the comments. But he is six foot nine, 400 pounds. Yeah, big boy. Massive, massive gargantuan human. Yeah. And uh, running back, Muhammad Ibrahim. And quarterback, Tanner Morgan. They are both back, of course. It is the first full offseason for the offensive coordinator, Mike Sanford, Jr., uh, 2020 defense was dead last in FBS in returning production. But this year, of course, a little bit better. They got a whole lot of guys back. Because question mark is going to be linebacker. Uh, they have not had a good pass rush ever since Fleck got there. They'll need to improve that, I do believe. Schedule sets up okay. Their win total is at 7. But I got to tell you, like as much as I like, uh, as much as I like Ibrahim, the five offensive linemen coming back, defense should be a little bit improved. I do look at this schedule, and I look at the away games. You know, they've got at Colorado, they got at Purdue, at Northwestern, at Iowa, at Indiana, and then at home, you've got Wisconsin, you've got, uh, let's see, Ohio State on here. Like, I, I look at that road slate, and I'm thinking, man, if you could have gotten some of those at home. I really think home field advantage is going to be a big thing this year. Yeah, and I agree. I think it's tough to get over seven. So, I... It, I, I don't see eight wins on here. No, I'm with you. I so, think seven's the number, and I think seven's their ceiling, which means... Immediate under. You have to go under. Under seven, that's minus 105. Uh, division odds for them, by the way, fifth plus 800 if you think they're going to win the division. There's a world um, where Tanner Morgan kind of has a little breakout year. And possibly. Shows, if hey, they find some skill talent, yes. Yeah, I can be special. That's what they're going to have to have offensively to to get over the seven. Very much so. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.